Welcome to the Colligative Properties Lab. This video will help you collect data if you're unable to use the actual simulation yourself. And we're going to start with freezing point. So you need to select the cold bath. We're starting with water at 100 grams. And salt or sodium chloride will be our first. And we're going to start with no salt. Okay, you can record your freezing point temperature. And let's look at the micro level reaction. You can see it's just pure water, no solute. Now we're going to add two grams of the solute to the water. See how that affects the freezing point. You can record the freezing point and take a look at the micro level reaction now when there's a solute present. We'll continue with four grams of the solute. You can record the freezing point temperature. And again, note the micro level reaction does contain the solute. Continuing with six grams. And you can record the freezing point. Again, noting solute is present. Eight grams. You can record the freezing point. And again, solute is present. And last, 10 grams. Okay, and you can record the freezing point. And again, note that there are solute present. Okay, now we'll be switching to boiling point. We're going to continue with water as our solvent at 100 grams and sodium chloride. We're going to reset and to do boiling point, we'll have a hot water bath. And we're going to start off with zero grams. If you need to pause the video to make your hypotheses, please do so. And here we go. And you can record the boiling point. The micro level reaction, you can see it's just pure water. And the water's gone from liquid to gaseous phase, boiling or evaporation. Okay. Next, we are going to add our solute. We're going to start with two grams.
you record the boiling point and notice the micro level reaction that you have solute present. Notice how that it's affecting the ability of the particles of water to escape. Continuing with four grams. You can record the boiling point. Again, notice the presence of the solute. And you continue with six grams. And you can record the boiling point. And again, notice the presence of a solute. Continuing with eight grams. And you can record the boiling point. And notice the presence of the solute. And last, 10 grams of solute. And you can record the boiling point. And I can notice the presence of the solute. Okay, next, you can also compare covalent sucrose to ionic sodium chloride. I'm gonna go back to studying freezing point. Let's reset. We're going to study sucrose. Covalence will not dissociate in water, so when you put sucrose in, well, one particle will stay one particle. And we're going to start off with 10 grams. And you can record the freezing point. And we're going to compare that to sodium chloride, which is ionic and does dissociate. And for every sodium chloride uh, compound or uh, molecule that's put in, you get two particles or two ions. and you can record the freezing point. Next, we're gonna study the same two substances, comparing the two, covalent versus ionic, uh, with the boiling point. Let's begin. and the boiling point can be recorded. 
And let's compare that to the ionic sodium chloride. And you can record the boiling point. At this point, your data should be complete. Finish your lab conclusion, your lab report, and return it to your teacher.